I try to make a desk tour video about once a year to sort of check in and see if there's anything I can do to sort of streamline how I get my work done there and overall make the time that I spend there more enjoyable. Right here at this seat is where the majority of work is done and if I need to immerse myself in something fun, well, this is done here as well. So today in this video, I'm gonna go over how I have my desk set up and why I have it set up the way that I do. This is my current desk work gaming setup tour. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here we talk about minimalism, frugal living, tech, and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you and you end up liking the video, be sure to like, and please force a subscribe button to sit through a Rob Schneider movie. Let's get started. I'll also have a link to everything I talk about in this video in the description box if you're interested in checking any of that out. The desk. Always starting with what I feel like makes the most sense is of course the desk. This is my standing desk from Flexispot. I'm coming up on two years of having this and using it every single day. I could confidently say I still love it and I'm not looking to change anytime soon. I went with bamboo mostly because it matches pretty well with my lamp and I typically like lighter colors. This desk is a bit on the larger side. I believe it's 55 inches across. And I wanted this size because I did used to have a PC case on the top, which still granted me a lot of space to work with. I would say my time sitting and standing at this desk is divided right down the middle. And while I don't have any drawers or storage space on here, that's fine because it does in fact force me to be more intentional with what I do keep here. I recently talked about how I cable manage all of this as best as I could, so I won't go too much into detail, but essentially I have all the cables tucked into this mesh tubing and barbarically tied to the framing of the desk. As for what stays on top of the desk, that consists of my tech organizer that holds things like my hard drives. I usually keep my iPad on here as well and my mouse and keyboard when they are in use. When I'm not using them or when I'm done using them, they're cleared off the surface of the desk and put back into their spots. I actually forgot to record this part earlier, but basically this is pretty much exactly how the microphone is set up when I'm recording gaming related content. I'm still very much in the early stages of figuring out exactly how I'm going to format that. So this is likely to change. And if I decide I even want to be on camera for those videos, I'll just have the camera set up in the corner of the desk on a tripod. Everything I would theoretically need while I'm at my desk is within arm's reach, either in my backpack that's hooked onto the back of my chair or next to me on my lamp shelf. And speaking of my lamp shelf, this has been a constant since I started making videos. And since it's sort of an extension of my desk working as a shelf, I'm gonna include it as well. With a lack of drawers or shelves on my actual desk, these lamp shelves work perfectly to cover that need. Chair. Now to something I get asked pretty often about is actually my desk chair. This chair is also from Flexispot, and for the most part, I would say I like it, but it's far from perfect. I like the sleek design and the ability to lean back, but I think the mesh material could be a bit softer. I'm pretty sure the material is for better breathability and to make it less hot. These armrest cushions are from Amazon, something you could have never convinced me were necessary until someone put them on the chairs at my office job, and now I'm completely sold. I'm able to adjust the height and how far I want it to recline when I'm leaning back. I would say the majority of the time I have my backpack just hung on the back of this chair in case I need to grab something out of it, and it's also where I store my tech kit when I'm done with it. I definitely recommend choosing a desk chair carefully because it can absolutely make or break the entire setup. Desk lamp. You may have noticed this new addition to my desk in the form of a lamp. This is the edge light from LoomCube. They did send this to me to try out and I will be utilizing it when it's time to make those gaming videos. I'm sure it would work great for things like streaming or video calls, but as of right now, it's sort of an accent light for my desk. I usually keep it on a warmer tone and a lower brightness when I'm using it here at nighttime. I chose white because it's sort of the secondary color of my desk already, and I usually opt for lighter colors when it's an option. It's definitely a bit on the pricier side, but really high quality, and just a good light for video making purposes as well as just serving as a lamp. Monitor. For my monitor, I knew I wanted something 4K that I can just plug my laptop into and work with on my desk, as well as be able to game on it easily. I decided to go with this LG Ultrafine. 
I'm not sure what it costs full price because I was very lucky to find an open box version online on Best Buy a while ago. It was in near perfect condition and I think I paid around $270 for it. And so far, I feel like I definitely got my money's worth. It's mounted on the same metal arm I've had for years and it gets the job done. My only complaint with this is that the sound quality leaves much to be desired, which really is the case with all monitors, but it's not too bad because I use headphones when I'm here anyways. And speaking of headphones, I just keep them hooked over the corner of the mount like so. Xbox. Now mounted underneath my desk is my Xbox Series X. I'm definitely not above gaming and I would absolutely consider it one of my favorite ways to get immersed and just forget about work and the world for a little while. You may have noticed in some of my older videos, I've had it on top of my desk, but I've always wanted to have it mounted just to optimize desk space and make it look a little cleaner. So right now it's mounted underneath with this metal mount that I found on Amazon. Just a heads up, if you are thinking about getting this, it does require you to drill into your desk. So be warned. I'm not a streamer, but you are able to plug a webcam directly into the Xbox and stream directly to Twitch from here if you wanted to go the route of having the most minimal streaming setup possible. The Xbox works for me because it's not in the way, it's great for a casual like myself, and it's just an easy way to have a really good time and a great time with your friends. Anyways, that was just an updated tour of my current desk setup and what's changed since early last year. I don't anticipate any changes because I'm pretty happy with what I have going on right now. Again, I'll have the link in the description box if you're interested in checking any of this stuff out. As always, I appreciate the time you spent here and I appreciate watching. If you did like this video and you like this type of content, be sure to like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.